This is Inspector Palmu's Mistake, a 1960 crime film from Finland. It was the first film in the Palmu series of films and the only one produced by SF Film. The movie is set during the 30s and deals with the death of a lecherous socialite called Bruno Ryksek, who's never had to work a day in his life and is found dead in his indoor swimming pool. Palmu then begins to discover that before his death, Bruno's friends had a crime-themed party and lots of strife has been brought about because of it. Palmu begins to suspect that Bruno might have been murdered, whereas it's first believed that his drowning was an accident. When the inspector pisses off Eric Vara, who works for Bruno's uncle, the police are called off the case, but, but they're put back on when Bruno's estranged wife drinks prussic acid and dies suddenly. The film wasn't a roaring success when it came out, and for many years it enjoyed largely a cult reputation, as it was released in the twilight years of the Finnish studio system. Now it's considered one of the quintessential classics of Finnish cinema, lacking a lot of the campy frivolity associated with films of this era, and for its relatively dark story. That's not to say there isn't comedy, but it's rather dry and down to earth. A lot of what makes this movie excellent is the performance of Joel Rinne, who plays Palamu. He's a bit gruff and also acts slightly clueless intentionally, in order to get people to accidentally confess to things they wouldn't normally say. He's followed around by detectives Virta and Kokki, played by two other giants of Finnish cinema, Matti Ranin and Leo Jokela. Virta is Palmu's protégé. He's overly serious and not as bright, despite his university education, and he works as a great foil to Palmu's more cavalier personality. This role is Ranin's second most well-known performance alongside The Unknown Soldier, in which he starred five years earlier, and before he went on to have a long and prominent career as both a voiceover artist and director. Leo Jokela, on the other hand, was already a popular comedian in his day, and his role as Kokki, the more blue-collar cop of the trio, made him even more popular, although most people will remember him more from his comedy films with Spede Pasanen. The rest of the cast is excellent, and funny enough, many would return in the Palmu sequels, playing completely different roles. Here, I think the cast is excellent and diverse because any of them could be the killer, and there isn't such an obvious giveaway as there sadly is in a lot of later films. I also love the camera work and the dark setting. The characters admittedly act a little over the top at times, but it does really make the movie all the more memorable. The movie was based on the novel by Mika Valtari, but ironically it was the second of two novels which got adapted first, the later one getting adapted into this film's sequel and a third novel finally getting written for the third movie. The reason for this apparently was because the SF producer responsible for Inspector Palmu's mistake didn't particularly care for the first novel. Overall, I really only have two complaints about the film. For one, there's a song section halfway through the movie, and this is a little off-putting as it clashes with the atmosphere of the film, but it's not a bad song, so it's really just a minor gripe. But only one other Palmo series film actually had a song section in it. The other problem is the fact that this movie has never been properly remastered. Now you might think that's not a big deal, but this film and its sequel, Gas Inspector Palmo, have some right down awful problems resulting from slipshoddy conservation, since this was only a few years before SF Film went out of business. I'm not just talking about scratches in the film itself, or that the sound quality is a little erratic, but there's even an obvious jump cut where they switch reels for the final act of the film. <laughs> There's an even more obvious one in the second movie, but I'll leave it for now. Now, given these are old Finnish movies, it's unlikely any of you will see them. But the official DVD is region-free, and I'm sure there are fan subtitles floating around on the internet somewhere. So in other words, if you can muster the energy, this is a film I highly recommend. As you will all remember, this made my top 10 Finnish films list from a while back. And that's all from me for now. I'm Hanno the Hunter Mackinen. See you on the next one.